Hey everyone, if you're new here, my name is Jake, and in this final devlog I'll be wrapping up development of my first game, Secret Jungle. Of course, this has been a pretty short journey, this only being the third devlog, but it's my first game and I wanted to keep the development cycle short. In fact, I've already posted a video about a game jam I joined, and I've mentioned plans to keep developing, so this is really just kind of like another step in the whole process for me. So what are the takeaways, what are my learnings from developing Secret Jungle? Uh, I can pretty much summarize them into three kind of like big things that will help anyone watching. Uh, and the first one, I think I mentioned this before, which is AI is difficult. I'm a software engineer by trade and a lot of the concepts surrounding the game, um, kind of like AI style of programming is pretty easy for me to pick up, like state machines and things like that. But regardless, implementing them is still difficult, even if I do understand how they work conceptually. So it can spiral out of you know control pretty quickly. And there's just a lot of testing required for kind of weird behavior. And on top of it, I'm using a language I'm not familiar with in a framework that I've only used once or twice. So I think this explains why development on my Game Jam games went so smoothly, because I didn't attempt to make like intelligent AI enemies. And I wouldn't necessarily call Secret Jungle's enemies intelligent, but each thing I did add made it significantly more time consuming. So in the future, I'm going to carve out more time for the enemy AI programming. Second is playtesting. Of course, everyone brings this up, and I did make sure to get my game played, but what I didn't do is set aside time to fix the bugs, so in the end, I had all this like awesome feedback, and just not really much changed in the game. I didn't have time to address it, right? So this again is just a time management issue on my part, which seems to kind of be the trend in this whole experience, right? It's just time management. And lastly is giving a buffer for engine issues. So uh, I'm using GameMaker and the experience has been mostly positive. I've had my fair share of issues though. Like I had to open a ticket with customer service because I couldn't log into my account after purchasing a license. And if you're not logged into your account, you can't build or distribute any binaries and you also can't use the marketplace. So I was super stuck and like this took multiple days to resolve and not throwing shade at the game maker customer support like they're awesome we did get it solved but it was almost a week to get it figured out and that whole time i couldn't do any builds and i couldn't use the marketplace and it really just left a sour taste in my mouth um and then lastly the the html export for game maker just sucks i mean i found tons of forum posts about how people were struggling with it it had bad performance there was a bunch of bugs that were completely unique to that export and it was just a struggle to get it working well and that was just a disappointment for me um but so yeah i would definitely leave more buffer for those kind of like engine related issues in my next game project but all said and done secret jungle 2 is complete and it's available with five levels up on itch and you know i'm happy about it it's, it's nothing super impressive but it's kind of like the same quality of a school project and that's kind of what i was going for and really it's just kind of like a snapshot of my skills at the moment. And it'll be fun to look back on when I'm building like the 84th Secret Jungle. But yeah, that's all for this devlog series. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed it, hit subscribe and check out my new devlogs. Thanks.